Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Come on and sing before the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Most high, I'm so grateful for your presence. I'm grateful for your patience and your love and kindness. I'm grateful for your grace and mercy. I'm so grateful for your provision and your protection. And I'm grateful that your kingdom is being established here on earth so that your will can be done as it is in heaven. And I ask that you continue to protect and provide for us. Continue to sustain us during these chaotic times. And please keep us from temptation. Please deliver us from all evil. Anything that seeks to hurt, harm, or deter us from doing your will. Please forgive us for our shortcomings and our sins. And please help us to forgive others as you forgive us. And I ask that you be with the downcast and brokenhearted. Heal the sick and give peace to those that are troubled in their minds. And please protect the children. Give them the guidance that they need and the support that they are looking for and please just continue to draw us to you Abba and help those of us that are sharing your word to stand in authenticity and integrity and help us to share words that would be uplifting and not detrimental I ask that you purify my heart, purify my spirit, remove anything that is not like you from my being and just help me to be an authentic expression of your love. And I ask that you touch my mouth and my tongue and only let words of your integrity and your truth come through my mouth. And I ask that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Most high, you are my strength and my redeemer. And I'm so grateful that I can stand on your promises because I know your word is true. By faith, I count it all done through the blood of Christ. And I'm so grateful for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I love you so much. So it is. Divine Rising Family. I am so grateful that you have chosen to join me today and I would like to, um, I'm not going to apologize because I have taken some time to really sit at the feet of God and I've really been searching my heart and really asking for guidance and clarity and deliverance from some situations and um i'm just grateful that the most high allows us the time that we need to gather ourselves and he gives us what we need to be able to strengthen ourselves and renew our faith in him and i've come across in my reading this psalm that i want to share with you And these words from the Bible are coming alive to me in ways that they didn't before. Like I've read the Bible my whole life, but the relationship wasn't there before. Even though I was seeking God, I wasn't in relationship with him. And I'm just so grateful that he's teaching me what relationships are actually about, even 
foundational relationships that parents are supposed to have with their children that I didn't really get to experience. So I'm just so grateful that he's showing me the way that things should be done in decency and in order. And he's given me opportunities to exercise what I'm learning. And I'm just so grateful to even acknowledge and be able to see my own growth. And I'm just so grateful that the most high is being patient with me and giving me everything that I need, even when I feel like I can't handle certain things. He's bringing me through it and I'm still here. And so are you. If you're listening to me, you are still here. So be encouraged because as long as you are willing to put forth the effort and be available for the most high to use you for his purpose, then he will. And he'll give you everything that you need to accomplish his task. So I'm going to read Psalms 145 and um, let you go. I hope this encourages you like it encouraged me. Psalms 145, a psalm of praise of David. I will praise you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. I will bless you every day and I will praise you forever. God, great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. His greatness is beyond discovery. Let each generation tell its children of your mighty acts. I will meditate on your majestic, glorious splendor and your wonderful miracles. Your awe inspiring deeds will be on every tongue. I will proclaim your greatness. Everyone will share the story of your wonderful goodness. They will sing with joy of your righteousness. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to get angry, full of unfailing love. The Lord is good to everyone. He showers compassion on all his creation. All of your works will thank you, Lord, and your faithful followers will bless you. They will talk together about the glory of your kingdom. They will celebrate examples of your power. They will tell about your mighty deeds and about the majesty and glory of your reign. For your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. You rule generation after generation. The Lord is faithful in all he says. He is gracious in all he does. The Lord helps the fallen and lifts up those bent beneath their loads. All eyes look to you for help. You give them their food as they need it. When you open your hand, you satisfy the hunger and thirst of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in everything he does. He is filled with kindness. The Lord is close to all who call on him. Yes, to all who call on him sincerely. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries for help and rescues them. The Lord protects all those who love him, but he destroys the wicked. I will praise the Lord and everyone on earth will bless his holy name forever and ever. May the Lord bless the reading of his word because he said that none of his words will come back void. And I'm so grateful for that because um, his promises are there for us to give us hope and give us something to reach for. Because every day there's something that can keep us from his love. There's something that can disturb our peace or put us in a place where we may not desire to be and so he gives us these promises so that we know that we can depend on him and he's not a liar so we can trust his word and that is the confidence that i stand on because if it's if it's not for god or his word like i really would be afraid of what the world would come to because other than his word, nothing else in my life, in my experience, has proven to be true. But every time that his word is tested in my life, he has proven himself to be true. And so that's why I stand on his word and his goodness. And I just every day it has to be for me It's a daily consistent conscious effort to stay in his word stay in his presence because it's so easy to get distracted every little thing and this week this whole past month has really tested me because everything 
it feels like has been thrown at me and even my own thought process and scarcity lack mindset and my anxiety has been really in the forefront and so I'm having to take a minute and deal with where all this is coming from and in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 it says be transformed by the renewing of your mind don't be conformed to this world because everybody in the world is worried about something but he gives us the peace and the assurance so that we don't have to worry and he said that if you are worried then there's really no need in praying because if you're going to doubt that he's able there's really no point and I'm going to redo that um, rhema word on belief because there's a lot of things that I wasn't able to uh, really dive into like I want to. And I've been really um, searching and researching and just living these concepts. And I feel like with all the praise and all the glory and all the honor that I personally am expressing to the most high It's not that I feel like I need to explain myself, but I feel like he's telling me to slow down and really dive into all the reasons that I personally feel like number one, that he's real and why he's so worthy of all these praises, even though on the surface, what people may see, it doesn't look like things are favorable for me. And I don't know. Um, There's a lot that I've been considering and dealing with and even having to confront within myself. And I feel like I understand why a lot of people may not necessarily want to go through that process because it can be painful and you have to relive some things that were very uncomfortable. Um, But it has to be addressed. You can't heal what is not being addressed and looked at. So let's be encouraged to continue seeking the most high, even if it's every day, every hour. You know, if you have to remind yourself, I have a lot of reminders in my phone. Sometimes I get aggravated when they keep going off all day. And even the past week or so, I just been kind of turning it off and continue doing what I'm doing. But God brought it back to my attention that that's exactly the reason that they're in my phone is to remind me to stop what I'm doing and reflect and acknowledge the goodness and the greatness of the most high because without that then I get overwhelmed and I'll allow things that are coming at me to make me forget how big that God is and that he is a God that does the impossible And that he delights in sharing his glory and to be able to do things for his children. He wants to take care of us, but he's not going to force himself on us. So I'm so grateful that he allows us to experience life in ways that we understand and that he gives us the compassion and the grace and the mercy to get through challenging circumstances and to be able to turn back to him and he's always there with open arms even when he has to discipline us it's it's very loving and i'm just so grateful so if y'all are willing to please join me on my rhema words on saturdays at 222 in the afternoon and sunship on sundays at 333 in the afternoon I'm working on branding and just structure of these things because I want it to be informative, but I also want it to be fun and something that that people would like to engage in because this word is so interesting and I get so much understanding and wisdom from it. I really want to share that because I feel like if people can understand things from a more practical perspective, then religion wouldn't have so much power and the relationship that is developed between each individual and the most high can help to reconstruct this world into a much better place and honestly that is my hope because 
the way the world is going is scary and you know i don't I don't want to be in a world that's so messed up and we've been living here, but it just seems like it's getting worse. And that is why all these words are so important because he gave us the Bible so that we can get through these times. These are the end times and things are changing and shifting in front of our eyes. And we don't know what's going to happen from one moment to the next. So that's why it's important for us to have faith and trust the most high that he will protect us and understand that even those that have been lost or that we feel have been lost that he knows what's best for all of us and things are done in a very strategic way so that he can get the glory and the honor and that he can give us the promises that we've been asking for there's always got to be an exchange and he gave us Jesus as his exchange All we have to do is believe on him and follow his teachings. And that's the important part. Faith without works is dead. You got to follow the commandments and do what you're told and get the relationship so that the Holy Spirit can guide you personally. Because every word in this Bible, none of them will come back void. But the understanding has been hidden from us. And so. I'm grateful that I've been allowed to have the time to be able to really dive into this word. I remember praying for this years ago when I was on the truck that I really just wanted time to sit and study. And that's what he's given me. And now I feel like things are coming to try and distract me from this. But I'm determined because I recognize the blessing that he has given me. And when we pray, we got to remember what we pray for so that we can see the blessings that he gives us and we don't overlook it. That's why he gets so frustrated. It's like when a child comes to you and asks you for something and you work hard to give it to them, it may take longer than they expect. But by the time you give it to them, they don't forgot what they asked for and they don't even appreciate it. Think how you would feel as a parent. And imagine how the Most High must feel that he gave us all this wonderful world, the beauty of the sun and all the plants, everything that gives life to us. And we take it all for granted. And that is so saddening. And the Most High is so over it. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like he's given us everything we need. He gave us instructions on how to take care of ourselves and the earth. And how to give him glory. And that's really all we're here for. We have all this to explore and enjoy. And all he asks is that we take care of it. And acknowledge that he is the provider of it all. And even when we couldn't get that right. He sent Jesus to be an example. But we don't even want to pay attention. I wonder why. I wonder why it's so hard for us to just acknowledge and accept all the goodness that God has given us. You know why? Because it requires discipline. It requires discipline and responsibility. And that's what we're going to talk about today in the Rhema Word. So join me. I love y'all. The Most High loves you too. And be encouraged. So it is.